is there any like rivalry when you guys are on set together? Do you guys like do any like competition or anything like that? Whenever you're watching a show or a film and you think to yourself, I wonder if something's missing between those characters. It's normally because in real life those people don't like each other. <laughs> so the little the little underpinnings and the little moments that that will have the theater chuckling. It's because Robbie and I we're, we we I've I've known him his whole life. I mean, there's a shorthand between us, and it's like almost like a sibling shorthand um, that, that that's really special and I think it, I think it comes across on screen how can we find these moments in these scenes where you know to deliver on the scene and the objective and what we need to get done but also deliver on moments that the audience and the fans you mm -hmm. know might might like as a little bit of a oh this is cool to see them do that together and the scenes where we're at it we're at each other's throat <laughs> is kind of something that I think that everybody likes to see and, and is also fun for us to get to play Robbie, Zena, thank you so much for taking your time with us today on the Movie Podcast. Congratulations on the premiere of the film last night as well. It must have been so amazing. How did it go for you guys? It was Serena's first time seeing the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And it was like my first ever premiere kind of thing. It was nerve-wracking, but it <laughs> went well, I think. Um, it was super cool to see myself on the big screen and to see everyone else and to finally reunite after so long. Yeah. That's it was awesome. pretty wild. It was... You know, a 300-person theater, a 500-person theater, friends, family, fans, crew, cast. It was, um, it was awesome. That's what I get. Yeah, and you can tell, definitely tell from all the videos that are being posted last night. But this movie's had such an amazing journey. You're coming from the short film to that final movie that came out and now this sequel after so many years. What's it like kind of getting back into that role, especially for yourself, Robbie? I mean, it started out as a little short film, proof of concept, and... Um, the first movie kept getting bigger and bigger as more money came in from the Indiegogo campaign. So the script was ever evolving and, um, you know, you're basing a, a movie off of a 10 minute short. And uh, I think we, I'm super proud of the first movie, but I think we learned a lot and I think everybody got better at what they do. And, and it was so much of the same crew from part one to part two. And uh, I think I think we made a better movie. Oh, yeah. um, I think it's it's really special that it's, you know, 100% Canadian and we were able to find such amazing actors like Serena. Um, and maybe shine a little spotlight on Canadian talent and make something a little more commercial than, <laughs> than always comes out of, uh, or that sometimes comes out of Canada. Um, so I'm just super proud of it. Yeah, there's lots to be proud of with this film, of course. And, you know, Serena, you get to work with Stephen and Robbie on this. Who is the more fun Amel to be with on set? <laughs> Don't worry about Robbie. No pressure, Robbie. I'm right here. working with you right now. <laughs> be honest. <laughs> I mean, I spent more time with Robbie than with Stephen, but... Um... Steven would always do his like dad jokes that I would <laughs> never understand because <laughs> I just don't know what he was saying. But um, there's like this one joke about gaslighting, but I think he was gaslighting me like <gasps> along the way. Yeah. There's layers to it. Layers yeah, it's great. I, Terrible joke. I, I, yeah, but um, with Robbie, it's also really fun to be with. You know, I love bothering him. Yes, <laughs> my does. favorite person to bother. She does. But she does. that's fantastic. <laughs> but you know, there, there's so much at stake with Pomani, your character in this film. How much of yourself do you get to bring to a character like this? All of myself, you know, everything. Um, I try to like put myself, I'm like, okay, if I was in Pavani's situation, how would I act? How would I be like? And I'm like, okay, I think this is how I'd go. And uh, Jeff would always help me, like direct me. And yeah. Love that, that's awesome. Now, Robbie, obviously for yourself, you've had so many times working with your cousin Steven. Mm -hmm. Curious, is there any like rivalry when you guys are on set together? Do you guys like do any like competition or anything like that? No, not really. I, uh, it's more just like, how can we, how can we find these moments in these scenes where, you know, to deliver on the scene and the objective and what we need to get done, but also deliver on moments that the audience and the fans, you know, mm -hmm. might might like as a little bit of a, oh, this is cool to see them do that together. And, right. you know, the, the scenes where we help each other is great, but the scenes where we're at, we're at each other's throat <laughs> is kind of something that I think that everybody likes to see and, and is also fun for us to get to play. Right. Um, you know, having having known him my entire life, we know how to push each other's buttons and piss each other off, but also make each other laugh. So it's it's fun to find those moments. And I think you see those. I think you you see the history with you guys on screen. I think you both just bring such a great dynamic with one another. Thank you. Which is great. And you know, obviously, you guys got to shoot this in and around Ontario in the GTA in Toronto out mm -hmm. around. Uh, what were your favorite spots to like to hit up? Maybe when you weren't shooting. You know, last time we spoke to you, you mentioned Rosie's. 
Yeah. Yeah. Rose yeah, is great. Burgers are great. Great. Um, we shot in Ham. We shot in Hamilton. There's a. There's a faux place. I can't remember what it was called. Brian, our visual effects supervisor, knows Hamilton well, and he brought like a ton of the cast over there, and it was incredible. It was a hole in the wall joint, and it was really great. I should find out the name from you. I'll ask Brian. <laughs> okay. Um, and then um, this wasn't. Uh, this was actually while we were shooting, but the final scene of the movie was the first scene of the movie. The f- final scene we shot was at Kingston Penitentiary. Oh wow! And just to shoot there from a a sheer scale and it, you're shoot, you're shooting at a you know a real prison not active anymore right. but the production value was staggering it was pretty wild to see so you remember for yourself did you go anywhere around the city to grab a bite to eat did you show anybody around we can't let her no, no. <laughs> yeah. she was like 13 or we're like you're not going anywhere yeah. what do you need we'll bring it to you <laughs> so true so <laughs> <laughs> there. never really left yeah. that's amazing well thank you both so much for taking your time with this the movie's so fantastic and i'm so glad people are finally going to get a chance to see it because clearly people really wanted thank another you. code eight thanks so much Steve and Alex, thank you both so much for sharing your time with us on the movie podcast today. Very welcome. Congrats on the premiere last night. How'd that go for you guys? Dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Netflix, uh, to see the tel- the TIFF uh, Lightbox Theater like that, I mean, they, they blew it out of the water. It was amazing, and the reaction to the movie was great. Now, it's been a long journey getting from the first film, from the short film, to the first film, down to this. Stephen, for yourself, what's it been like being on this journey, seeing where we are now with Code 8? Well, I mean, the process of making it has never really changed it, never really changed. It's just kind of the apparatus that's been around it, from Jeff and Robbie, you know, financing a short film, to Telefilm and our Indiegogo campaign, to Netflix coming in. Um, you know, we've, we've always had responsibilities to people, but we have been left alone to make the short, the first, and the second film. And that's been really special and cool. That's fantastic. And I think when you when you see, especially in part two, how this world has grown and evolved from where it started, yeah, that must be so fulfilling for you guys, right? Yeah, hundred percent. And I and I think that the good thing is, is that I still want to know more. Alex, you know, for yourself, you have a much more expanded role in this one. Yeah. What would you say was the most exciting part about kind of getting to explore your character further? Getting to play with these guys, man, for a <laughs> lot more. Yeah, because they 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 bring it in this movie and. Uh, to be able to be across them and be their scene partner was was a wicked honor. That's awesome. Who, who'd you have more fun with though, or Robbie Steve. or Steve? Yeah, okay. Steven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got I got to create some tension. That's it. That's oh, okay. Yeah. You're trying to create a family feud between a little them. Bit, okay, yeah. I got you. We're working it out. No <laughs> need. No need. I would have been. I, listen, if, my, if your answer had not been me after watching the movie last night, then I have done something horrible. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you've, you've worked with Robbie. You've known Robbie your whole life. You yes. Know, we asked him. Uh, his whole know, life. His whole life. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. No, we asked him just like, you know, what's it like? What's the rivalry on set? And he just like, like he knows what he said is like, you know that what bush, buttons to push for him. Yeah, like which is weird because we don't really fight in, in, in real life. But whenever you're watching a show or a film and you think to yourself, I wonder if something's missing between those characters. It's normally because in real life, those people don't like each other. <laughs> so the little the little underpinnings and the little moments that, that will have the theater chuckling, it's because Robbie and I, we're, we, we I've, I've known him his whole life. I mean, there's a shorthand between us and it's like almost like a sibling shorthand um, that's it, it, really special and I think it, I think it comes across on screen it does you see it and I think some like my favorite scenes in the film were when you guys were just going at it because like you just feel it like it feels real yeah yeah in the best possible way thank you yeah. now obviously getting the opportunity to shoot in your hometown really exploring Toronto and the areas around us what would you say was a spot that you were kind of taking everybody to go eat or just hang out at oh man I, I moved away from Toronto in 2010, and, and when I came back here to film the first one, any time that I tried to take my wife and daughter somewhere, the spot would be closed. <laughs> and so I started to get incredibly frustrated. So now I just, I, I lean on, uh, I, I lean on the people that are still here, and thank God St. Louis still has locations and yeah. serves wings <laughs> still. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise I'm out of here. <laughs> That's all it takes. No, you know what? Was Toronto spoiled with food, man? Yo, sometimes yeah. there would be doubles on set. You know what I mean? Sometimes it'd be a patty or it, anything. You get anything or something. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie mentioned to us last time that he really loved taking people to uh, Rosie's Burgers in Mississauka. Oh Did yeah. You guys at all? No. No. Oh. Maybe next time. Yeah. Rob. Yeah. <laughs> now we are creating beef. We are creating beef. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're starting that out. I'm a burgers drop guy. Yeah. Yeah. Burgers drop. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That'd Love be dope. that. Uh, of course, uh, if you haven't been asked a million times already, if, we, if you guys could have any power, 
in this world, what would you want to have? In this world? In this world. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I like mine. I, I like being a TK. It's a great, it's a yeah, great it's one. A, it's fun. A transinducent? Tr- 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 transducer. Transducer. Yeah. <laughs> transducer. <laughs> that's what I get. Yeah. That's it. That's Serena's power. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and obviously, like, she, her, she's clearly too just, like, She's just sort of scratching the surface of what she can do with it. More to come. More to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you both so much for your time. You know, Thank we're you. both Thank such you. big fans of yours. We cannot wait for more people to watch Code 8 Part 2 this week. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.